Hi there, Nancy Muller here with another episode of Life is All About Choices. And today I wanted to talk about being addicted to your feelings and how to stop being addicted to your feelings or feeling addicted to feeling addicted. Yeah, that's a really great way to put that. In case you're going, huh? What the heck are you talking about? Think about on a day when like you're not feeling so well. And so you get up and you're just like, uh, you know, I don't feel like going to work. I don't feel like doing anything. I don't feel. And you just kind of lay around and you lay on the couch and, you know, you nursing, you're nursing yourself back to health. But that feeling can get addictive. Like, oh, yeah, I just maybe feel like I want to lay around. Or when you're feeling sad and you're not really sure like when that fine line of not feeling so sad anymore, but that feeling of sadness can keep pulling you down. And so you keep doing things that keep you in that energy of being sad. Or what about when you're really angry? Maybe you have road rage, you're out in the car on the street and somebody cuts you off and it just pisses you off and you're like, ugh. And you don't realize that you haven't let go of it. You're still holding on to that feeling of anger and road rage. See, these are all feelings and then we can become addicted to them. And we don't even realize it, right? That's what addictions are. Something that you just do without even thinking about it. And you do it over and over and over again, even though you want to stop. And you think, I don't know why I keep doing this. I I just, I want to stop. So if you have specific feelings that you're addicted to, like perhaps um, you're angry at someone um, and you're not really sure like when, you know, exactly you move to that point of, I just don't want to be around that person anymore, but you've put yourself in uh, an energy, an energetic feeling uh, when you're around that person. And whether you realize it or not, you can take that energy that of that specific feeling and you can carry it with you to other areas of your life. So the reason for this video today, I've, um, you know, as most of you know, when I decide on the topic for my video every Monday, um, I usually get the download of what's going to be shared with you during my morning meditation. And this morning, I just really felt the need to bring it out and, and start letting people think about, you know, what feeling are you addicted to? Like, like, are you get so mad at your spouse over and over and over? And you're like, ah, why doesn't he change? Well, What is it that you keep bringing up, you know, what feeling are you addicted to that no matter what he or she does, you just keep glomming on to that specific feeling? Or maybe it's um, at work, you know, you're frustrated with your coworkers or your boss. And so a specific feeling keeps coming up for you. When you learn to identify the feeling, remember, emotions are felt in the body Feelings come from the mind. So this tells you that you have the power to change that. If you are sick and tired and you really do want to let it go, you're really ready. You're like, okay, I'm over this. No more. Let's let's just be done with this. If you identify the feeling, just stop and say, hmm, okay, I'm angry. But remember, anger, fear, those are surface emotions. There's something lower than that. Something that's really bothering you that you're not letting yourself take a look at. And you've created a habit of that feeling. And so you don't even realize when you do it, like, why do I keep doing this over and over? Why do I keep feeling this way? Why? And we think it's the person. So perhaps it's just something that that person is doing to remind you of the feeling. And the feeling feels familiar, like, Okay, this is happening over and over and over. When can we just let go of this? So get in touch with that feeling. And if you're having a difficult time, again, I'm going to remind you, there's a link underneath this video called The List. Go ahead and take a look at that link. Look at the page. Watch the video if you can. I know it's um, kind of lengthy, but it'll explain everything. And this will really help you understand what it is that you really, really want in your life why you don't have it, how to get it, and how to let go of the feelings that you keep bringing into your life that keep cropping up for you that are holding you back 
from what it is that you really want. Because remember, life is all about choices. In the meantime, check this list and I'll see you later. Ciao for now.